Hey guys, welcome back to Channel Chicken Game here, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to add and use attributes for your parts and Roblox. So let's get straight into the video. Alright, so I just have this part here in the workspace, and I've just named it part, and I've anchored it just so it stays in the same position. Um, so to add an attribute, you just need to click on the part, and you also need the explorer and the properties window open. If you don't have them open, just go to view at the top and then click on Explore and Properties. And then it'll open them for you. So once you've got any part, you just need to scroll down. And then where it says uh, Add Attribute, you just need to click on this. And name your attribute wherever you want. So I'm going to make my part so if you touch it, it's going to give you extra speed. So I'm just going to name this speed. And um, whatever yours is, you have to... Um, change the type to that so if you if you want to like where you have like letters so if you want a name or something like that then you have string if you have boolean you have to say true or false and a number is if you um if you're just using numbers which in this case i'm only using numbers because it's for speed so once you've set up that you just need to click on save and then and then your attribute should come up down here if you want to delete it, you can just uh, click on the settings icon next to it and just say delete or rename if you want to. And now we just need to set a value for uh, your attribute. So I want to give my players 50 walk speed when they when they touch the part. Um, so it'll be like that. Alright, so let's get straight into the next part. Alright, so to reference a uh, or to define an uh, attribute for your part, you just need to say local and then whatever, whatever you want. So just put whatever you want after local. Um, so for for me, I'm just saying speed because um, my attribute is called speed. But whatever your local is, it doesn't it doesn't matter. Um, so once you've got that, um, you just need to say it goes through the parent call and get attribute speed. Um, so um, it's gonna go up to the parent and it's gonna get the attribute and it's gonna find speed so now I'm just gonna add a little example uh, for you which is gonna uh, change the walk speed when you step on it all right got me an example so the script is just gonna change your walk speed to the speed of the um, whatever the attribute is which is 50 for the stick so it's going to change my walk speed to 50, like it says here. So let's head into the game and test it out. Alright, I've just loaded into the game. So if I if I step on this part, it's going to give me the 50 walk, 50 walk speed. And if you want to um, make another part where you can change it back to the original walk speed, which is 16, um, you can do that by duplicating the part and moving it over and then changing the attribute back to the default which is 16 for this case all right we just loaded it in the game so if i click if i stand on this it's going to give me my 50 walk speed and if i stand on this one it's going to give me my default one which is 16. and there's a lot more um things that you can do with this not just changing the walk speed you can change your jump power um and you can um, change the damage so if you stand on it it's going to take damage off you you can do things like that. You just need to change the script a little bit. So if this video helped and you want to see more, then make sure you like, subscribe and turn the bell to be notified when the video comes out. See you all see you in the next video. Bye.